Well, good evening. We're here in Seguin, Texas, and we just got a text that the new Electrify America in Seguin, Texas just came online. I was actually there around lunchtime today talking with the young man that was commissioning the units. So there are four units there. Two of them have shared power. Uh, I believe it's unit one and unit four. Uh, have shared power there is a total there are a total of four units on site and they are at the La Quinta Inn um, on Highway 46 and I-10 so we're gonna head over there I've actually been trying to keep my battery low this week or this weekend so that I can go test it out but I wasn't sure how long it was gonna take him to get it up so I charged a little bit today but I'm only up to 54 percent so interestingly I did just ask Hyundai's navigation to take me to the closest Electrify America and it did not list this one yet so I'm wondering how long that's going to take to change. Of course it's been live on PlugShare for some time now ever since ever since the Electrify America app said it was uh, coming soon. So we're going to go there do a quick charge test find out what the max speed I can get in an Ionic 6 at 54 percent is. We'll find out. I've got just a few minutes before I arrive at the charger, so I thought it'd be worth mentioning. The last video that I made of charging my EV was my previous vehicle. I had a 2020 Chevy Bolt LT uh, in Oasis Blue. Absolutely loved this car. Uh, in the space of three years, put a little more than 60,000 miles on it. Just an incredibly reliable, comfortable ride. And then, then I went and test drive test drove the Ionic 6 and fell in love with it. Even more of a comfortable ride, of course. And uh, so I traded in the Bolt and came home with an Ionic 6. And have just been thrilled a bit with it. Uh, we took it up to Fort Worth for July 4th and stopped at the Waco Electrify America. Went to go, uh, we plugged in, went over to Chick-fil-A and hadn't even gotten our food yet. And the car said, come and get me, I'm already ready to go. So the, the charging speed by far is just so much better than the, uh, the Bolt. Absolutely love the Bolt. It's such a reliable vehicle and uh, really small and maneuverable and quick, but I think uh, I definitely made the right choice. I wanted to go with this vehicle. It's an it's a Ionic 6 SEL rear wheel drive with a EPA rated range of 305 miles. Uh, I wanted to go with this vehicle for two reasons. It has longer range and has uh, much more uh, excuse me much faster charging, and that really makes all the difference did have an interesting lesson when I arrived at my brother-in-law's house and wanted to use the wall plug for charging. Uh, it was my first time using the level one charger that came with the car and I couldn't figure out for the first probably 12 hours why it was charging so slowly and I had to go on the forums and understand that there's a button on the Hyundai level one charger where you can change the amperage uh, so you can change it uh, I think it might be up to eight or ten and once you've got the amperage as high as it can go then it certainly charges a lot faster sometimes I plug into uh, plug in in the garage on the level one charger that came with the bolt uh, as we still have another bolt in the family and it does just fine on that I was a little worried it was gonna upset the charger and try to pull too much power but it's been perfect another thing I'd like to mention about this Electrify America charging uh, location is exactly that, the location. So here's the exit from the highway. And then you'll come down this little road, Highway 46, and you have to pull into, watch this happen, into the La Quinta parking lot. There are two entrances. There's one here in the front and then one over there on the side. But you've got to pull into the Quinta parking lot and pull around the back over by the pool. And we have guys out here working on stuff. Alright, 
we are plugged in and charging at 241 kilowatt. I do currently have it set to go to 90%, so it's going to take, looks like 17 minutes. Eight minutes will be at 80%. When I first plugged it in, it went straight up to, uh, it started out at 70 kilowatt and then ramped right up. Now we're dropping back down. So let's just keep an eye on that and see how it behaves. Well, I tried to get a bit of a video there at the location, but the guys were on site repainting the spots for the charging because, well, they were originally painted at least a year ago and the paint's been baking in the sun and fading ever since. So they're finally up and running. Uh, I saw a max of 243 kilowatt. And uh, then it sort of dropped down to 150 or and then back up to 180, kind of hovered around 180 and then finished out around 114, I think it was. And the session would have been $11 for me to go to 50% to 80% is, look what it, is what it showed. But I was, uh, but I'm using my, Ionic 6 charging plan, so it says $11 discount, $11. So that worked out really well. Uh, I think as long as people arrive there and they know that they can plug in and then walk over to the convenience store just around the corner from the hotel, uh, or even go into the hotel and have a sit in the air conditioning for a few minutes if they want to, uh, it's going to be a great location. And it's definitely, definitely a needed location on IH-10 uh, in uh, Central Texas. That's all for me now. Have a great night, and we'll see you next time.